out of our site preparation for the she shed uh, she's probably getting done in about two hours what probably would have taken me oh my gosh at least four days to do all that clearing well so far here's the site of the she shed the tin lizzie and since we're working out here anyway we went ahead and made our fire um, and this is Yule. This is, uh, I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. So today is the beginning of the Yule season, the 12 days of Yule. It's the longest night, the shortest day. It's the winter solstice. So we have a fire going. And up to this point, it's just been your everyday average fire. But I'm about to uh, ask for a blessing from Goddess on this fire and um, leave a couple of offerings. And then it will become a sacred fire after that. And then when we're done working out here and the last day, uh, we'll just pull a log from here, uh, uh, slightly burned, but not all the way burned log. And then that becomes my Yule log for next year. Blessed Yule. So today being the winter solstice, look how long my shadow is. <laughs> Today's the day of the longest shadows. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I feel like the skinny man. Wow, that is one long shadow. <laughs> that's nuts. Wow, that's a very long shadow. Jeez. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Love it. getting there. It's getting there. Slowly but surely. <laughs> That's a lot of screws and bolts. A lot. I don't know how many, but I, I'm pretty sure it's over 9 million. I think. And this is a very easy project. You only have to get 9,999,000 are the world's tiniest screws and little plastic washers to line up and go in every single little teeny tiny little hole. Easy, right? And fun. Well, I can say now that I know the difference between a panel and a channel. That's a panel. That's a channel. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. No roof yet. Well, welcome to day three. Um, Arrows and my husband had to leave, so it's quite windy and quite warm, and I thought I would take advantage of this beautiful day to get those roof beam supports put up. Sorry again for the glare. It's low sun, so there we go. Uh, I gotta get the roof beam supports up. I gotta get this other beam up. Then I gotta get the side beams up and then I can start putting down the uh, roofing panels. Celebration time. Don't ask me how I did it. Well, with my handy dandy lashing, but I got both bolts through both beams and this gable all at once and got the nuts on the other side. Now I just have to do the same thing to the other side by myself. I'm 
because it's not easy to figure out how to do this kind of stuff when you don't know what you're doing, I just want to take a minute and thank my dad because my dad was like a jack of all trades and he was always piddling and building and gardening and he never, not one time, did he ever complain that I was in his way, under his feet or slowing him down. He always let me tag along. And it's surprising what you pick up when you tag along with a parent. Love you, Dad. So just a couple of things. Uh, today being Christmas, there was no hardware stores open and I needed an awl to line up uh, the little tiny holes in the roofing panels and I couldn't find one. So um, in a pinch, I just used a broken antenna and that worked fine. Uh, never lay your tools down where you can't find them against silver things. <laughs> because it makes them very hard to spot and find them again. Uh, when I needed a second set of hands, like on that beam right there, and there was nobody here, uh, I just used some lashing and made sure it was tied good so it didn't fall down and bonk me on the head so I could work on the other end. And uh, ladder safety is your main thing. Make sure your ladder is the right size for you, the right height. You don't ever want to lean and make sure your ladder's always stabilized. Make sure your batteries are charged because, boy, that's aggravating to run out of battery juice right in the middle of a project. And always make sure you have a tape measure where your little thing works. If that thing doesn't work, the thing is junk. All right, guys, back to work. said <sighs> one down three to go while the sun is starting to set and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I did get the roof on today by myself not that hard um, I couldn't really reach all the spots so when my husband comes home, he said anywhere he sees daylight, you know, he'll either uh, silicone it or put the screws in place where they belong. So again, this is an arrow. It is a 10 by eight. I think I paid 500 for it. Still got some more gravel work to do out here. I'm gonna put this gravel down myself and then at every corner, I'm adding more gravel. On this side is going to be a spring flower bulb garden. And on this side, we're doing a long thing of echinacea. And then I have to put the doors up. The 10 Lizzie sign I already have. My husband's hooking me up with some solar lights that he has with him. It's a little dark in here, but um, right now I just have some bales in here. But this back part here is where I'm excited because I'm going to have all of my shelves and my totes and all of my storage of my stuff that will fit in here that I do want in here. And then on that side is pet foods and laundry soap and stuff that I just don't want in the camper anymore. And uh, we're not gonna buy any of the kits that come with it. We're just gonna do the shelves and the totes and everything ourselves. So I'll do a part two uh, when I uh, finish the doors, the sign, the flower beds and uh, get the totes and the shelves in there and I'll do a part two on the 10 Lizzie. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this here. Hope you enjoyed this. Blessed be.